Skyrim. Nothing sweeter than fantasy racism and big bitty goth girlfriend. So great, Todd had to resell it more times than I have brain cells to feed the ever-starving Elder Scrolls fandom. I, like many Elder Scrolls phallus suckers, am more desperate for new Elder Scrolls content than a Khajiit is for his next Guma fix. <laughs> this is why all I do anymore is sell my soul to Elder Scrolls Online. I'm not kidding. Let me fuck that old man, Mage Zinamax, and my life is yours. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Let's yap about how Skyrim is shit. And ignore that I was glazing up ESO two seconds ago. I'm not feeling charismatic today. I'm not feeling very charismatic today. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm Sababa Black Sheep. Have you any soul? No, sir, no, sir. But I do have time today to tell you why Skyrim is, I don't know, mediocre. You might be asking, Saba, you have over 400 hours in Skyrim? You fat fucking hypocrite. Why would you title a video that? Honestly, I don't even know what I titled the video. I haven't titled it yet, as of as of right now, at least. Um, but I'm sure it's something eye-catching and kind of triggering to read. Sorry about that. It's the white woman in me. The Karenism is just clinching my heart, turning it black. Or would it be white? This isn't a race thing, I think. Skyrim starts out with Flash banging you with a decapitation and the least sexually appealing character creator you've ever fucking seen. I feel like I'm in France all over again. Anyone who can jelk it to evil step granny over here has my respect. Because honestly, I haven't seen a woman this foul since I've seen a pastor's wife. I'm pulling your weenus. This woman looks incredible for 40. Unhealthy standards of valuing sexual appeal over anything else is not just damaging our culture, but how we view the women in our lives. Women are objects. The same can't be said for men. Check out this dill. The way I would tie this orc up to a chair in my basement and force feed him rot meth down that slick little orcish throat of his is insane. I feel like I should go to therapy because I think I'm a little too into orcs. A little too into them. Not like in a freaky way. <laughs> That's a lie. It's totally in a freaky way. I can't help it. I can't help it. Personally, my favorite Daedric Princess. It it's a pretty tough draw between Malik Ball and Malakath. Malakath is pretty based, guys. Malakath is pretty based. I mostly just like him because I feel bad for him. You got to keep your sad fathers away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if, if there's a man above 40 and he's depressed, I... I can't help but want to abuse him. I'm sorry. As much as I'd love to continue objectifying the submissive and breedable men of Tamriel, we have to move on. The game not so subtly shoves the civil war down your little pipes, making you pick between twink red and twink blue. If you pick blue, the storm cloaks, you fondled Trump's balls for a living. And if you pick red, the empire, I don't know, you rage on furry Twitter probably. Uh. To recap this faster than a red-pilled contard loses No Nut November, a Briton man named Tiber Septum started an empire, cause why the fuck not? Then he figured out how to use console commands? Then he got bored and then like ascended to godhood or some shit. Now Nords are throbbing for him like 4chaners misappropriating Patrick Bateman. And for you uneducated folk, Tiber Septum is Talos. I don't get Talos worship. I don't. I don't- I'm sorry, I don't- I don't have anything against Tiber Septum. He's... fine, I suppose. I'm not that into the Empire, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bored. I got a little bored. What I do like is that... Orcs covered shit all over themselves. Now that is cool lore. I wish that was me. No, I wish I was the shit they were covering themselves in.
I'm not hungry anymore. The now standing empire wants Skyrim to join them so they can stand against the piss elves. And the Stormcloaks are mad gray people, live next door in boxes. A part of the Stormcloaks are, a lot of them are just racist. Another part of them is uh, they just want to worship their man god and have their own country not ran by a bunch of liberals. <laughs> but a lot of them are just racist. <laughs> and then the Imperials, the Empires, sorry, the, the Empire. Some of them are just like, we want to help Skyrim, you know, like you see use the support of the empire to make skyrim better which isn't necessarily bad but at the same time they're also like uh what is that thing england used to do colonize they're just colonizing skyrim that is why i uh, i side with the foul more because all they want to do is kill everyone to dick off to a divinity and honestly same as of now who you choose is Relatively meaningless, not gonna lie. The Twink Red and Twink Blue will either tell you to go to Ice Tit City or Bargain Bin France. Honestly, I only played the Civil War once in my many, many playthroughs. Um, because it's a yawn. It's boring. And I accidentally sided with the Stormcloaks because I had no idea what was going on. Uh, what would I choose now? Maybe the Empire? Neither, honestly. They both suck my asshole, so... Mm. The main quest lines honestly just lack any form of individuality, and it sucks. Like, you can become the leader of almost every organization. You can become the Archmage of the College of Winterhold and never use a fucking spell. What? In the main quest, you meet this lady called Delphine, who's like a barkeeper and an ex-blade. The blades are like Talos cocksuckers that like protect anyone born of dragon blood or whatever the fuck. And honestly, I don't know how they did it. I have no idea how they did it, but but they made the single-handedly most annoying, flat, and hateable character I've ever fucking seen in media. This woman constantly tells you what to do and then tells you to kill the one dragon that has been peaceful and nice throughout your entire playthrough because she doesn't understand the concept of change. Nuance could fist her so hard she becomes a fucking puppet and she'd have no idea what the fuck is going on. To be fair, if Nuance started fisting me, I'd be very confused because that's just a concept and why would it fist me? She's like if you go to a Midwestern town and walk into a Walmart and take out like the conservative cashier lady and then make her run a group of Nords with swords. It, 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 that That's what it is. Honestly, that's what it is. And you can't even continue the Blades questline until you kill Parfenax. And mind you, the Blades questline is literally just recruiting people. That's it. You just recruit people. When I was doing it, I recruited that um, that that executioner in, in Solitude, and I killed his wife, and then made him follow me. If you're enjoying my content, consider joining my Discord server, and if you enjoy my art, check out my Etsy with adult coloring sheets, shirt designs, and wall art, all linked in description. Back to the video. Honestly, Delphine reminds me a lot of Cassandra from Dragon Age. Um, I hate them both. I, I fucking hate Cassandra. Anyone that actually likes Cassandra, you're lying. I'm kidding, you're not lying. You have a taste, and it's not mine, and that's okay. But Cassandra is so annoying. She's so fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Why do people want to diddle her? Because I, I, I wouldn't be catch dead. I feel like everything in Skyrim is so scaled down compared to like the lore that preceded it, and it's a fucking tragedy. But I also realize, like, there's only so much they could have done. Making those big castles and towns and flying whales just is hard to fit into a game, especially back in 2011. So, like, I get it. No judgment. A little judgment, but no judgment. But it just feels a little lifeless. Just a little boring, you know? And, like, on one hand, it kind of lets you have more of an imagination, you know, fill in the gaps. But it also leaves you a little a little unsatisfied, kind of like having sex with your Serana um, body pillow. Look, maybe I'm projecting because honestly, Skyrim is my least favorite country in 
all of Tamriel. I'm sorry, it just is. I hate Skyrim. I don't like that place. The backwater Nords with the flavor of a fucking salt rock bore the ever-loving gods out of me. Look, I'm not gonna pretend like I have refined taste. My taste in video games is whatever throws a stoic dilf at me and gives me enough whimsy to fantasize it as I fall asleep. And look, I'm not even a moral boomer. I wanna be, but I'm not. I'm too dumb for that game. I had to pull out multiplayer Morwen so my friends could read everything to me because, look, because honestly, I might be a virgin, but dyslexia has ravaged my ass like a woman in perpetual ovulation. I implore you not to trust my judgment, especially when it comes to games. What are you, a sheep? They should bring Michael Kirkbride back. Look, I'm sorry, I know it's oversaid, and people are sick of hearing it. For reason, to be fair, Michael is a little overrated in his individual essence alone. No hate, Michael. You slap harder than my smooth brain could ever. But hear me out. I feel as though Michael is like a force of nature, a strong tide coming to wipe out everything you love with gods for tits for eyes. But when you focus those rapids to push a water wheel, you get energy. And you can turn that energy into the mwah, finest fucking story you ever goddamn seen. I do think Michael is a very capable writer in his own right alone. But when you're creating a story for the mainstream audience that is both compelling but enjoyable to many, you need that corporate, empty brain writer that is just there for a paycheck wouldn't know what unique writing is if it bit him in the ass cheeks while also having that one individual you wouldn't let around your family. For those that have zero fucking clue who Michael Kirkbride is. He was a writer for Morrowind, but he kept on creating exceedingly goofy ideas. I don't know about you, but I don't think he's ever gonna live down the time that he drew Malakath with horns for nipples. Wait, no, that wasn't him. That wasn't him. It was in his art style. Who drew him with horns for nipples? Michael Kirkbride was the one that, like, gave... Make made Mafala like like all hunched back in like like hundreds of tits. He was so real for that. So real. What the fuck is going on? My lizards making weird noise. Shut up, you fucking ninwa. Anyways, Michael made Mormon very unique, as a lot of people on the writing team did. But he he did a good job. Good job. I don't know if he got fired after that or like just left to do other stuff i have no idea but whatever i think his wife writes like quests for eso now or something and guys i'm not gonna lie i i have a throbbing boner for eso i'm not playing i love elder schools online so much i've been playing mmorpgs since i was five years old they are my heart and soul and i'm not even good at them the fact that my favorite fantasy world has my hair looks like a karen cut holy shit i didn't even realize the fact that my favorite fantasy world has a mmorpg makes me elated makes me excited makes me get up in the morning and go yippee i love the quests guys i love elder scrolls online quests so much like so much like they're so funny and they're so unique and they're so goofy and i love them and honestly Merkmire DLC and Somerset DLC made me cry. I'm not playing. They made me cry. I was sitting there going, oh. No, it was so good. They were so good. And I know they're not good, but they're good to me, okay? Look at my Elder Scrolls character. I was about to jump off a bridge just to get the Molik Ball Polymorph. I'm obsessed. I'm tweaking. Uh, me getting married to ESO win? Sorry, the demons. The demons. They got me. I would make a video of me glazing ESO for five hours straight, but no one would watch that. So. And so much of the Elder Scrolls Phantom, like, has completely disowned Elder Scrolls Online. But Elder Scrolls Online is my pookie, guys. It's my pookie. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not lying. Elder Scrolls Online ESO is my favorite Elder Scrolls game. I'm 
not kidding. I know it's not. I know it's not really considered one, but it is in my heart. It is in my heart, okay? Argue with the wall. I don't care. I don't care that they fisted a white Facebook mom as a daedric prince down my throat. I, I'll eat it up. I'm happy. I'm just happy to be here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just am. Though seriously, Ophelia's design sucks ass. I'm, car I'm sorry. <laughs> like, give her a third eye, six arms, make her skin blue. I don't fucking care. Just anything. Literally anything to make her a little more interesting. Ithaca's design is so shit in my opinion. Like, so boring. She looks like that materialistic hippie on TikTok that sings about how white aliens built the pyramids. I've been learning shit from the aliens. Like how we're all connected to the pyramids. And how we used to use them for time traveling. I, I got off topic from Skyrim again. <sighs> Iso, Iso has me by the balls, guys. Iso really got me by the balls. Cicero fangirls turning a 35-year-old man into a sexy, sad anime tweet was insane. Was insane. That is not a sexy anime boy. That is a 35-year-old mentally ill man edging middle age. And people get mad that men yossify alloy? This is just as bad in my opinion. Literally just as bad. I'm just gonna say, I don't care if you pick Vilkis or Fuckus. Those frap boys are both shite choices. One is a Redditor, and the other was definitely joining me in special English classes in middle school. I really put the ED in special ed, because you couldn't catch me dead eating anything but Tapa Ramen back then. The only right answer for Skyrim marriage is, um... Scott's Mini Martian, or that freaky blacksmith Riften guy that has a grown ass son. I just wish he'd like grow out the middle of his beard. His mutton chops look fucking disgusting. Comment who you married in Skyrim so I can make fun of you. If you say you want to marry Serana, you're boring. Tell me you romanced Shadowheart without telling me you romanced Shadowheart. I say that in one breath, but I 100% romance Shadowheart. I love Shadowheart. She's so cute, and she's so relatable, and she's so sweet. I love Shadowheart. She has my heart. She has my heart. Honestly, the only decent romance in the entire fucking game. I said it. I said it. I, I tried to romance Halson, and, like, the first scene came up, and I was like, Oh my god. Ew. What the fuck? Brother, ew. Don't touch me, you freak. No hate on Halson. Though, Halson was, was very stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, guys, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I know some people just love Halson, but he's so basic. He's so basic. He's like, he's like, he walks into Baldur's Gate and he's like, this place is so cruel. Unlike nature, nature is so nice. It's so cruel. I, I saw a little girl on the side of the road trying to sell flowers because, um, because her family's dead and she's an orphan. Oh. And I'm like, sweet, darling boy. A wolf would rip that little girl apart and eat her organs. Is that nicer? Is that nicer? I'm not gonna lie. I, I think, I think civilization reflects nature pretty directly, honestly. I think nature and civilization are a bit of the same thing. Same instincts, same everything. It, 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 there's not much of a difference. They, they reflect each other. Like, I'm, I, like, I'm not to, like, not to get, like, philosophical over here, but, like, I, I just feel like... It doesn't take that long to come to the epiphany that that civilization, especially in like medieval times in, in this setting, like fantasy medieval times, isn't all that different from how violent nature is. And I feel like you could have had such a compelling character arc with him coming to realize that, you know, there's beauty in both both nature and what nature has created through through its people through through living creatures that created civilization like you're not gonna look at a bird nest and you're like ugh, they don't build them right birds keep falling out of them it, it, it's the birds it's it's big it's big bird you know I'm, i tried to make like a big pharma joke but i somehow dragged as sesame street into this point is is so i think halson halson needs to go to philosophy one entry to philosophy i haven't gone either I couldn't do that. I can it's like it's like walking into a room of Moro boomers, but like without the fun part of them actually playing Morrowind. Oh, and that cute crack dealer in Whiterun. I love her. She's so cute. Eroy oh, oh Serana. What about Serana? If you marry yeah, if you like Serana, you're boring. Serana is the most compelling character in the game, but I mean 
a sheet of paper in Florida are both flat. The sheet of paper just has a little more depth. Like, let's be honest here, it's- it, she's flat. Unless you modded her. You know who has more interactions than Serana? Xander. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he does, he does. I'm gonna have the whole of the Elder Scrolls fandom just on me for like, constantly sucking up to ESO, but like, I can't help it. It's in my blood. Why does my hair look so bad, bro? Oh my god. I realize I don't have good taste. I don't. But like, I just, I love you so, so much. But I keep forgetting we're talking about Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. It, 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 Skyrim's good. It's fine, I suppose. It, it's not my favorite, but you know, it, it's enjoyable enough to put over 400 hours into it. Yeah, yeah. I have over 2,000 hours in you, so. But, but, but hey, Skyrim, yeah. Um, hey, yeah, you know, it's, it's better than I could do. Skyrim is more well-written than anything I could make. That's a lie. I don't actually think that. I'd actually suck my dick harder than anyone else thinking I could make something better. I couldn't, but sure as hell, I subconsciously think that because I, I, I have a huge ego and I don't know how to change it. I look like baby Trump. I look forward to whatever Bethesda makes for Elder Scrolls 6. I think it's going to be great. I, you know, whatever they make under the Elder Scrolls IP, I'm excited. I'm excited to see the hard work of all the passionate writers in Elder Scrolls. It's gonna be amazing. And anyone that says otherwise, you're miserable to be around. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're allowed to have an opinion because I have an opinion all the time and it's relatively annoying because I'm a hypocrite, but, but I'm excited. I will eat up anything they spoon feed me, just like I will eat up anything they spoon me feed me from Dragon Age because holy shit, that, that old necromancer guy, <laughs> They already got me interested. I don't care about if everything else in that entire game is shit. I just want that guy. I should probably go to third, but <laughs> that's expensive. It's not like I'm uh, sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm. Anyways, that's all I have for today, folks. You got work tomorrow or school. I have work tomorrow. God fucking damn it. I'm playing ESO every fucking second, but as always, don't dream about wheat-based byproducts.